We are out at the Alonzo Borrega State Park area. And it seems to be a lot of dry spots around here. But here's a actually privately owned area with permission to use. Uh, and it looks like there's quite a few of sculptures out here. There's some elephants or building mammoths. There's a camel turtle. I can see it on distance. I think there's a scorpion out there. There's a pink statue of Tracy. So I'm gonna put the drone up for a bit, see if we can get some better views of these things, see what they look like. Tracy's gonna walk out to the scorpion. So we'll head over that way in a few minutes. Beautiful day, it's about 80 degrees, sunny. Uh, it's pretty boring, because it's been sunny every day. But. There's off towards Borrega Springs. It's a much bigger town than I thought, but it must be a lot of touristy things happening. The state park and everything, at least on the weekends. So there we go. I'll send the drone up. Hopefully I won't crash into anything. Be back. There's quite a few scattered through here. I didn't expect to see so many of these. I'll look up here too. Here. Yeah, there's more stuff up here. It's got a Oh, let's see, that would be a saber-tooth tiger? Or maybe it's mythical. Oh, look over here. There's another one. Oh, yeah. Can we roll the window down so you can get a better view of it? Okay. I don't think he's going to bite, do you? I don't think so. Privately owned desert spot. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so the dude that. So maybe whoever owns it has commissioned an artist or allows an artist to do his thing or. You know what? I think I'll put the information right here. Oh, yes. So here, this is right what there. this is what it's all about. Oh. Yeah, it makes sense? It makes total sense now. Yeah, because before I was unclear, but now yeah, that I'm I've explained it. Now I'm feeling I'm feeling you're like off-roading in the Jeep, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Should I do a fast one? Um, sure. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bump there. There's a fat dinosaur. I was going to say, that's a fat and fuzzy. That's a dinosaur. Yeah. There's a dinosaur and a dinosaur. Why is this a dinosaur is carrying a dinosaur? Maybe it's or a bird. I think it's carrying a baby like it's a fuzzy oh, animal. Oh, okay. Like maybe it's a mammal of some sort, like a... You're right. You know, like a, like possums? Yeah, like possums, yeah, bag? exactly. Oh, looks like it's got a runny nose. <laughs> Might be a bird. Bird poop. Bird poop. Fawn's Point. It's a rough dirt road all the way up here. He says he has four wheel drive vehicles only. Tracy just took off without me, so I guess she's up there. There she is. There. No dogs on trail. There's the Jeep. 
I saw one Honda re or Honda CRV coming down the road with us the direction so they made it up here but it's pretty rough and pretty sandy they i wouldn't bring just a car up here it wasn't all wheel drive this is font's point again like i said four miles in off the main road we took the wrong turn further south or north and it took us along the bottom end on a dirt road four miles in that was still a couple miles away from it so we couldn't get any closer but this is probably a good sign Make you nervous? Uh, Woo! Don't get too close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my word. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty spectacular though. That is so cool. There. Oh. Made it. Did you explain our first trip in? Yeah. We were down over there, I think, way off in there in that dirt road over there. Oh my gosh. But this is a lot much better of a road. Holy cow. Don't wanna hold it. think that they're hiding from us oh like see this little guy right here oh yeah kind of standing he's standing i think he thinks he's not you can't see him now let's walk over here how close do you think i can get to him up oh, there yeah, but that's really interesting how tail stand yeah huh. so what do you think of this place <laughs> it's really neat i don't know why i'm afraid of the there's no guardrail. There's no guardrail. I know. I'm afraid that I'm just going to fall off or the wind's going to blow me over. Well, the nice thing is the wind's blowing this way. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to blow me that way. Yeah. I'm going to see how close I can get before Tracy tells me not to get so close. Right? Pardon? Right. Yes. I'll do a shot from over here. Yeah. yeah, we had this whole place to ourselves, but I'm not getting too close, don't worry. Yeah, you've only said it five times already. It's okay. It's kind of the point up there, I guess, where you're supposed to look. But... It looks like people go down to some of these points down here. Oh, walk out there? Yeah. Yeah, there's footprints out there and yeah. that one. No. What the heck? Yeah, no thanks. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm so glad we found this place, though. Yeah, I'm glad we came out. I told the story of being on the wrong road, so. Right. We got that down and just, uh... Yeah. Uh, this is worth it. Well, the little sign over there says that this is maybe one of the best representations of all for some... Badlands of California? Or no, some Canyon kind lands? of a way of, um... Erosion? Land... Plate tectonics? Changing... Erosion? Erosion? Earthquakes, faults, Earthquakes. fault lines. Um, um, come here. Man's, come here. Come here. man's effect on nature through carbon emissions. Well, actually, well, I don't. 
Cow farts? <laughs> cow farts. <laughs> no, over here. Look at this sign. Right. Sorry, guys. I should have come prepared. I didn't come prepared. Well, I could put facts up here, you know. Oh, that's true. But we'll look at the sign, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's good just to read the instructions. Yeah. What does it say? <laughs> no, seriously. It's kind of... It's inspirational, actually. Oh. See? You know what? If you've labeled it correctly. See, it says... It says, best place in North America to view sediments of the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. True Pli enough. Are you sure it's Pliocene? Yeah, Pleistocene. Pliocene and Pleistocene. Mm -hmm. Epochs. Mm -hmm. True yeah. enough. What up, homie? Huh. Yeah, interesting. What goes through your mind when you stand there? Falling off, of course. Yeah, or wind. What is the artist in you whispering? Don't fall off. Don't fall off. What, what will your pet photos capture? Hopefully nobody falling off. Nobody falling off. And what words will you use to describe this view? Don't get too close, hon. <laughs> that seems to be the most of the words that get described here. <laughs> <laughs>